guys, I'm Manisha Gupta and the spotlight is back yet again on aluminum because we are looking at all-time highs on MCX when it comes to aluminum prices and it's a new 13-year highs on Elumi and Shanghai as well. On Elumi, aluminum has hit, an, it has hit a 13-year highs on $3,000 per ton and when you look at the Shanghai prices, we've done 23,770 yuan on this one as well. The prices have been constantly rising. We've seen nearly 15% of gains in aluminum prices in last one month. The gain come in on the back of output curbs, power shortages, labor shortages in China. China has curbed nearly 10% of aluminum production and the major reason that you have seen the aluminum prices run up in the recent few months there. Also, it is about the shortage of the raw materials. We've seen aluminum prices continue to run up. Junia, which is the uh, second largest producer of bauxite, also is facing political turmoil and there are shortages because of that as well. European Union also is fating, uh, facing smelter uh, costs. Uh, we have seen rising costs uh, with carbon credit, power inputs at record highs also finding its way into the prices there. And then you also have the producer and global consumers also uh, talk about or negotiate the annual supply contracts. Uh, and with the kind of condition that there is right now where the supplies are lower, the inventories are lower, the demand is picking up, the pricing really is something that the world is keeping an eye on. And then there is surge in demand. There are uh, shipping bottlenecks also which are finding its way into prices. Inventories are yet another thing which have been quite supportive. When you look at the Shanghai inventories, those are the lowest since December 2020 at around uh, 2 lakh 28,000 tons there. We also have seen decline in LME inventories which, are, which have declined by 33% from the month of March and they stand at 1.32 million tons right now. There are various interesting reports from Wall Street banks suggesting that the aluminum prices from here on can also continue to gain up. This one is from ANZ which says that more than 1 million tons of output can be disrupted in the year 2021. The other one comes in from Commerce Bank which says that the aluminum is overbought on the technical charts but there are no signs yet of a correction or a trend reversal. Another report comes in from City, which says that the 2021 deficit could stand at a tall 1.1 million tons. City also says that they are expecting deficit to continue from 2001 to 2023 at around 3 million tons. City also has put out a price forecast for the next 12 months at around $3,100 per ton. There also is a report from Goldman Sachs which has put a 12-month price target at around $32 a ton. It says that the supply concerns may extend to the middle of 2022, so they are quite bullish in this year and much of next year as well when it comes to aluminum.